Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Ben San Augustine. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you are not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to go to the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to prove using the principle of mathematical induction. So let's take the question that we have. Using the principle of mathematical induction, we have to prove that for all n subsets of natural numbers, 1 times 2 times 3 plus 2 times 3 times 4 plus 3 times 4 times 5 plus dot 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 plus n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 equals n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3 all divided by 4. Please kindly like, share, subscribe and leave your comments. Now how do we solve that? We let the given statement be pn and prove that p1 is 2. That is the base step or the base case. So giving n equal to 1, we put 1 here, you get 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 3, all divided by 4. That gives 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 divided by 4, and it will be 1 times 2 times 3. So P1 is 2. Now we assume that PK is also 2 for some positive integer k. So we find 1 times 2 times 3 plus 2 times 3 times 4 plus 3 times 4 times 5 up to k times k plus 1 times k plus 2. And this will give us k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 all divided by 4. So whenever you see n, you put in k. And then we prove that whenever k is 2, k plus 1 is also 2. So we prove that pk plus 1 is also 2. So now we sum from 1 times 2 times 3 up to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 2. Very simple as that. So we have pk and we are adding pk plus 1 to it. This is p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 plus p5. So this is pk and plus pk plus 1. So we are summing. Oh no, this is not pk plus 1. We have pk here. And if we sum from pk up to here, we get pk plus 1. So the whole of this, <coughs> from here up to here, is our pk plus 1. Very simple as that. So let's see. Now, we have pk to be k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 all divided by 4 and we have this one to be k plus 1 times k plus 2 that is 1 plus 1 times k plus 3 that is 1 plus 2 now we can say that here we have the denominator here to be 4 so we can do this we can multiply here by 4 and divide it by 4 4 divided by 4 is 1 so that the denominator become the same and now we have k plus 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 k plus 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 so you can factorize that one out so we have k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 times k plus 4 all divided by 4 Remember, we have 4 here, 4 here. So, we can just claim this one, join the line, and put one 4 there. Very simple as like that. That is why we have this. And then factorize k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3 out. Here, if you factorize k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3 out, it will be left with k. And if you factorize k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3, it will be left with 4. So that's why we're having k plus 4 times k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3. Very simple. I think the question is solved. So here, pk plus 1 is now equal to k plus 1 
times k plus 1 plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1 plus 3 all divided by 4 so look at this for pk assuming that pk is true we had k representing the n so we are proving that pk plus 1 is also true so here you see that here k plus 1 is representing the n here k plus 1 is representing the n here k plus 1 is representing the n and here k plus 1 is representing the n so whenever pk is true k plus 1 is also true so by the principle of mathematical induction the statement pn is true for all natural numbers thank you for watching please like share leave your comments and let us build the mathematics community don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye